Ah, Resident Evil. The zombies. The bosses. The characters. The simplicity of... Oh... Oh my fucking god. What the fuck is that? Hello, I'm Stone Samurai TV, and this is how I feel about Resident Evil 6. For a long time, Resident Evil has been respected as a great game franchise with banger movie adaptations, great stories, and awesome remastering and retelling of stories. But I'm here to tell you, sports fans, Resident Evil 6 is not one of those games. So when I started playing Resident Evil 6, I had a high expectation after the fifth one because I felt a little spoiled after the fourth one, not gonna lie. And with the fifth game, I knew I shouldn't expect too much since it came out during the 360 days, so it's forgivable. But my god, the sixth game takes the cake. I don't even know where I should begin with this heaping pile of junk. Like I said on Twitter, Resident Evil 6's graphics looks like it was headed by a freshman in college who only got to the second semester because he cheated on his test. It seems to me that some of the developers must have hated working on this game. Throughout the whole game, it seems like it's been programmed to have you just get through the game and not feel challenging at all, taking away any good feeling of accomplishing anything. I swear there's so many times I thought I would die and then the boss would die instead. Like, what the fuck? When it was time to take on the shark in the game, it just pushed me along to keep the story going. Like, I, I guess I'll just show you so you can so you can see what kind of shit show this really is. Oh, oh my god! What the hell? Thanks. Who designed this? Where did he come from? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh god! Get the hell out of here! Oh god! To go where? I'm trying to go home! What the hell? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Oh my god! This game sucks! See what I mean? Horrible. The game doesn't even let you play the game like it should because in total, honestly, I want a challenge. I don't mind dying a million times wanting to bang my head against my table because that's what I do. That's what a gamer is about. Beating games that pose a challenge. Like you can go look up how good it did and Google would say it sold the most from series to date and I call bullshit on that. It's clear they never played the game because I don't know what they're smoking, but they're out of their minds. People had a lot of expectations from what I understand. There were some mechanics that were kind of cool, but they just weren't needed. Yeah, I had fun crawling around the floor singing Secret Agent Man, but that was only to entertain myself from what was to come because this game sucks ass. For what it's worth, I don't think it's the worst game, but I think Resident Evil 6 is a fun bad game. And I only say that because of so many imperfections put a smile on my face. Like, for God's sakes, they couldn't even get Ada's hair right. I thought it was going to fall off when Leon got to her. And on top of it, you know when you got to look around for, like, pieces of a key or something to continue to get somewhere? It felt way too easy. I like the whole compass thing to help you out, but I like to figure it out for myself. Call it what you will, but I like to do things on my own. I'm a big boy. I don't need my hand held. Like, like, I cannot find anyone who would really remember this game unless you ask a diehard fan. But besides that, if you mentioned Resident Evil 6 to anyone, they wouldn't have an opinion about it. Because a lot of people didn't play Resident Evil 6 in my opinion. Now, I can have love for a game, but to have so much wrong with the game, I can't ignore the obvious. When I was getting down to the last chapter of the game, and this is the game story itself, and I'm not kidding, Simmons. The bad guy transforms into a zombie monster that is able to shoot you with a flesh made turret made out of him. Now let that sink in for a second. A flesh made turret that shoots bullets. Yes. Now I'm no expert, but there is too much wrong there for me to point out because that would take all the video up like my god. But either way, the boss fights don't feel challenging at all. There's unnecessary long driving scenes. There's such a pushing narrative that I barely even remember the story.
But do you know what is really sad? This game is on the Xbox servers to match you up with another player since it's co-op. It accidentally turned on and it was active. Nobody, and I mean nobody, could be matched with me because I kind of figure that nobody plays this. So in retrospect, I don't hate the game or love it. I'm kind of taking it at face value as like, we wear a product, you know? But anyways, I hope you all liked the small video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment if you haven't already. I stream on Mondays and Tuesdays and Thursdays over on Twitter when I can so I hope to see any of you guys over there sometime so uh, thanks for watching and have a nice day